This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham with my co-host, Robbie Hall, back in the hot seat. How are you doing today? Really good, Kathy. Excellent. How are you? I'm very well, very well, thank you. Very well, thank you. Uh, you've got a guest today. I'm going to put the show over to you. Good morning, Sean, and thank you for joining us. Thanks very much for having me today. I appreciate it. How, how long have you been... A uh, police officer. I've been a police officer for almost five and a half years now. How how many years have you been working in Smith Falls? Uh, I've been working in Smith Falls as a police officer that whole time. So when I got hired, it was by the Smith Falls Police. So. Well, where did you work before coming to Smith Falls? So the job I worked uh, immediately before coming here uh, was for the City of Ottawa, uh, for OC Transpo. I was a special constable for them. Uh, so I was effectively uh, working in a policing capacity for uh, the bus company in Ottawa. Do you have a family? I do have a family. I have uh, three children of my own. Uh, well, I guess they're creeping up on being young adults. I guess. Uh, my son will be 22 shortly. My daughter is going to be 19 uh, tomorrow, and uh, I've got a 16-year-old. How long have you been in war of community service officer? So officially in the role since uh, January 3rd of this year. Um, I would say I've been lucky enough that uh, the Smith Falls Police takes community very seriously. So. I like to think I've been in the role since I started here, but uh, officially with the title since January 3rd. What are some of your duties in this role? So some of my duties in the role, <clears throat> I support uh, the frontline officers uh, with uh, issues within schools, uh, within our hospitals and with our business partners and community partners. Um, I work with our MCERT team. Uh, we have a mental health group that works uh, with the Smith Falls Police Service, but not for us. So it, they're a wonderful resource that we have uh, for the community to help address um, some of the mental health issues and crises that have been uh, creeping up in town. And uh, I support the, roll, uh, the road um, when, uh, when calls for service require. So I, I get to wear a lot of hats. I get to be in the community helping out with special events, uh, so helping out with the, uh, the schools and community services, uh, as well as uh, fundraising for different types of organizations. Are there any new pro programs you would like to Im implement? There are definitely some programs I would like to implement. Uh, in terms of changing or implementing uh, some new programs, um, I would have to get uh, the police service uh, uh, buy-in and blessing, uh, as well as the uh, the buy-in and blessing of the community as well, right? Because we, the the role is so community-based that uh, anything that I'm going to be doing, um, I want it to be uh, propping up and supporting the community. So, how many years does an officer usually stay in this position? I don't know that there's a set timeline for this position. Um, it seems that uh, around five years is definitely um, kind of a trend, uh, not, to, not to say that uh, somebody might stay longer or um, stay for a short amount of t time depending on um, how things transition within the service. So um, I'm looking um, to be in this role uh, and establish myself within the community and within the uh, with our community partners, so I hope to be staying for at least five years. What's your favorite part of the job? Uh, to be honest, uh, there's so many aspects that, that I love. Being able to uh, help and support uh, the community, be out uh, and be a, um, more of a, a face of the police officer, developing um, rapport within the community so that uh, um, we're not uh, always just a response based um, being being out there being being around people like yourself Robbie who do so much uh, for the community um, you know you set uh, some big shoes to fill so uh, I hope to uh, be able to 
uh, model that and be out in the community more and uh, supporting the community and propping up uh, our police service and our uh, people in need. Final question. How cold was <laughs> the water at the Polo Plunge? Oh boy. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for how cold it was going to be, to be honest with you, Robbie. Uh, it was a bit of a shock to the system when I got in. Um, I remember everything just tightening up on me and looking at the surface of the water going, oh, I actually have to swim up back up to that. My muscles don't want to work yet. So well, that's a great question, Robbie. And I, yeah, the, the water shocked me. <laughs> Son, thank you for joining us today and good luck in your new position. Thank you very much, Robbie. I appreciate it. Kathy, thank you very much for having me here today. Oh, uh, thank you very much. You speak. are the new community service officer here with the Smith Falls Police Department. So you're going to be here a lot. Uh, typically, we have like monthly interviews. So Robbie will reach out or maybe yourself and I will reach out. Lots of things going on too. And I, I really like the way you say you're not always, you, you don't want to be a response base. You want people to see you as, a, as somebody they can approach. Absolutely. And particularly, I have a nine-year-old grandson, and I okay. just love the fact that he's got such a good relationship with our Smith Falls Police. You know, like it's yeah. not always a response. Absolutely, we yeah. can't we can't just be uh, response and enforcement. It has to be uh, education and community-based and growth, right? Yeah, yeah, and I mean, I, I can just go back a little bit. I mean, you they were there was July first, the Canada Day. That's a big day for for the police department Absolutely. in Smith Falls. Uh, bike rodeos, bike safety, that sort of thing. Yep. Uh, just even walking to school. So uh, the bike rodeo and bike safety is going to be happening again. Um, I did have a wonderful meeting um, with the Kinsmen, uh, so that is most definitely going to be taking place. Um, there is going to be a, uh, a bike rodeo is going to be incorporated. Yeah, bike safety is going to be incorporated into that. And hopefully we can look at uh, <clears throat> having the bikes registered. Uh, so if they happen to go missing, lost, forgotten, stolen, um, they'll be in our system so we can get them back to the rightful owners. Right. Um, so there's a, there is a group of things uh, going to be happening. I know there's a couple of uh, fundraising golf tournaments that are coming up that people are excited to be planning and working towards. And uh, the Polar Plunge, um, it was interesting that it uh, said it's back. And um, I got questions about that because Smith Falls hadn't done one before. And I was like, no, uh, it's our first time. It was an uh, inaugural one, but uh, it's back because COVID uh, kind of, right. it was virtual uh, for a lot of, uh, for a couple of years. So uh, the fact that it's back, uh, we have active participants and we're able to raise funds for our local athletes. $5,000, I believe. Actually, I think we were closer to six by the wow. end of it all. It was wonderful. So, um, you know, we turned it around in a short period of time and we were able to uh, have a big success and uh, a bunch of us froze, but for a great cause, right? Have you ever so, jumped before? Have you ever done a I have plunge? not. That I was the first not. inaugural. <laughs> It, 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 I, the only other time I've been in ice water is uh, uh, it, I, got, I got thrown in a pool that was covered in ice as a child. So. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, uh, well, it was a wonderful event. That was February 16th, and uh, lots of people came out. Uh, a lot of first responders came out to help out. I think they had over 25 I think there were about 25, 26 plungers yeah. in the end, and uh, the shores were lined with people supporting us. Uh, we had a number of um, the Special, Olympi uh, Special Olympics athletes out to support us and uh, cheer us on, and um, the wonderful work that uh, Smith Falls Fire did for us mm -hmm. in prepping um, the jump area and making sure everybody was getting in and out safely and uh, providing for some great uh, aerial photographs uh, from the boom as well. Um, we had fire, we had uh, ambulance, we had OPP, and then we had members of the community and uh, business community as well. So it, it was, was a great event. It was and wonderful. The and the military. <laughs> and the military, absolutely right. Yeah, we had uh, military, with CBSA had a jumper, and wow, it was uh, it was wonderful. Well, it was a great turnout. Well supported. We know well, how so. important our spe our Special Olympic athletes are. Robbie's yeah. one of them. Uh, there's quite a few, and we've got some going off into provincials. Uh, yeah, to swim. That's to swim. So that, yeah, uh, warmer water. A <laughs> little bit warmer, yes. Warmer <laughs> water for sure. Well, I thank you very much for coming here. This is your inaugural <laughs> time here it at uh, FYI, but it won't be your last for mm -hmm. sure. Well, thank Constable you very much Sean for having Keoghan from our Smith Falls Police Department, our new community service officer. And thank you, Robbie. You're welcome. All right. Thanks, Robbie. Thanks, mm -hmm. Kathy. I appreciate it.